Hello everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. Today I've got my July 2019 favorites. I've got some lifestyle favorites that I kind of like to share with you guys. So anyways, I think this time around I'm going to start with something that kind of really impressed me. Um, you guys know I live in Florida. I actually live in the Orlando area. And one of the things that we have is a lot of sun in the summer. We get a lot of sun. Also, we get a lot of rain. Honestly, it is our rainy season. And so it can be a little bit um, wet down here during the summer. But in either case, um, the sun gets really hot. It's really warm outside. It's with the humidity factored in. It's always over 100. Um, so it really does get warm. And I always, always wear a good sunblock in the summer. And so I had purchased this one last year because I enjoy watching um, Angie from Hot and Flashy and she had recommended this one as the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy one and this is the one that's tinted and so since she enjoyed it so much and she had said it was one of the best ones she'd tried I had bought it last year but due to my medical condition last year I really wasn't able to try it so it kind of sat in my collection and so I was so excited to pull it out and try it this um summer well guys i didn't care for it i didn't care for it at all it's uh i think it might be a really good uh sunblock for someone who has oily skin and is wanting to use a mineral based sunscreen um i would not recommend this for anyone who has normal to dry skin i really think if you've got very very oily skin this might actually be your best friend when i put this on anything i put over it it just it's it was it just mattified my skin so much. So anyways, you're saying, Carrie, you're starting out your favorites with a not so favorite. And it's because that led me to find my favorite. And I have to tell you guys, I'm so impressed by this one. Um, I got it at Target. I happened to be by at Target one day and I was looking at the sunscreens. And like I said, I really need something that is mineral based because I used Retin-A at night and I use a lot of acids. And by a lot is I use several acids in my skincare. And so my skin tends to be very, very sensitive to the chemical sunscreens. And so they have this one and it's an SPF 30. It's water resistant. So you sweat down here, y'all, or you glisten down here, y'all. And so I thought I really need something that can kind of hold through that moisture, especially when I have a hot flash. And so I picked it up. Now this one has more titanium dioxide than it does the zinc oxide. So let's say the Bear Republic, by the way, that's the name of this one. It's the Bear Republic Mineral Sunscreen Face Broad Spectrum SPF, SPF water resistant 40 minutes and the minerals in it are titanium dioxide 5.2 percent and zinc oxide 2.5 percent it's really nice and thick and so it does have a white cast and i hope that this camera will focus on this um because i'm still learning y'all i'm still learning but that's what it kind of looks like so you'll see that it does have a white cast but it does blend right in honestly and so you will always have a little bit of a white cast. So I'm not sure if you're darker than a medium skin tone, this will be your best friend. That being said, it's something that covers up very easily with makeup. So I'll compare it to what this one looks like because this one is tinted. And so that is one of those things that is really nice about this one is that it is tinted. And I'll show it to you guys on my finger right there as you'll see. So let me put it on a little bit lower. I'll put it like right in this area where I have hair. <laughs> And you'll see that it is tinted and so it kind of blends into your skin a little bit better but again not your best friend if you've got drier skin normal to dry honestly if, if you really don't use makeup and you just need something to give you some sun protection and you're not going to put anything on top of it i think it's a really nice product for something like that but for someone like me who needs to use her makeup whose skin is more dry than it is uh oily the Bear Republic is definitely got my my star of approval, um, but it does have carrot seed oil, grape seed oil, and so there is a little bit of a slip to this product that this one doesn't have. I hate to call it greasy because it doesn't look greasy on your skin. If you give it, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to kind of set on your skin, it just looks like your skin once you blend it in really well. So yeah, I've loved this one and um, I just wanted to give you guys a point of reference on this one. I don't like it for me, but I don't think it's a bad product. I think it's okay. Like if I were to go to the beach and just kind of sit at the beach with no makeup on, this would be really perfect for something like that. So 
why don't we jump right in and talk about my nail polish favorites this month. I have three, but honestly, I have three because one of them is kind of difficult to find. I mean, you may find it on eBay or something like that, but it was actually my favorite polish of last month, so I'll have to share it with you guys. It's from OPI, and it's from their Hello Kitty collection, and it's spoken from the heart. I'll be sure to upload a picture of me wearing it, but it is... Um, kind of like a watermelon color. It's almost like the color of my lipstick that I'm wearing today. I'll share that with you guys in a little bit. Uh, I'll try to show it to you guys like that right there. Um, it has almost like a sheer formula. It's not quite sheer. So if I were to say, is it a jelly? I don't think it's a jelly. It's kind of more of a curly. Um, but I had a really nice formula. I had to put three coats, but I didn't mind because it applied really nice and smooth. And I love the way it looked on my skin tone. That being said, it was from the Hello Kitty collection. And shame on me for not having pulled it out of my collection earlier and worn it, you know, sometime last year. But I've really enjoyed it. And I actually wore it, I think, two or three times this month because I just liked it that much. And so since you guys can't get this one, I thought I'd give you one that you might be able to find. And this one is by Sinful Colors and it's kind of in that really bright uh, nail polish family. This one has a little bit more of a coral tone to it. Spoken by the Spoken from the Heart has a little bit more of a coral tone to it. And this one has a little bit, uh, it's more of a pink fuchsia tone. And this one's by Simple Colors and it's in the color Pop. And it's from their Neon Collection that came out this summer. I ordered it on Amazon, the Neon Collection, because I can't seem to find them anywhere locally around me. And they were something like six or, I don't know, 15 or $17. So it was absolutely worth it. I didn't have to pay for shipping because I have Amazon Prime. So in either case, I really like this one. I'll make sure to include a picture of it. I thought it looked so pretty on. And inside of the actual bottle, and I'm not sure if it'll come through, there's little shimmers, gold shimmers, reflective gold shimmers within it. And so on your nail, it just it looks so happy. It's just a happy summer bright polish and right now that is so what I'm being attracted to and so therefore that leads to my I don't know I, I can't pick favorites honestly I love this one and it's the one I have on my two accent nails right here and it's by different dimensions it's actually a polish that I picked in my top um, summer picks for nail polish this uh, summer it's called hello from the other tide and it is a it's got a clear base but it's got a bunch of silver um, little micro glitters and then it's got the hollows inside of it as well and then it's got blue uh, like neon yellow green and fuchsia colored uh, matte glitters within it and so it's a pretty thick formula so you literally only need to apply two coats to two get coats to make it be opaque and Oh, it's so much fun. It's like a little party on your fingernails. I'm from the 80s, guys. I graduated in 87. And I have to tell you, I look at this nail polish and I'm like, I really, really wish we had had that back in my day. In my day, everything, you know, we used a lot of neons and that was really when that whole neon trend kind of started. And this would have just fit perfectly back in my day. Now, um, what I'm wearing also with it is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes and it's by Sally Hansen and it's from their gel line and it's called Get Mod and it's just a white, very nice, opaque, simple white uh, nail polish. It takes two coats to be opaque, but it isn't one of my favorites this month because it really is one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. Would be, oh, where's the other one? It's these things and they're called Stir and they're drops that you put in your water they're liquid water enhancers is what they're called and it has still zero calories and the ingredients inside it's just water natural fruit flavor concentrated white grape juice vitamin c um citric acid and natural stevia extract and so this one right here is in the blueberry and it was the first one i bought and i love it and then i recently picked up the lovely lemonade and i love it i love both of these now i've tried the cherry one and i don't really care for the cherry one and the fruit punch one is okay, but these two, they have my seal of approval. That being said, they're really, really good, and I highly recommend these. That being said, I also tried this one. And in another video, I had recommended the Sweet Leaf Water Drops, and it was the one in vanilla, and I also have the one in caramel. And those are really good. But for some reason, the ones that are fruit-flavored, 
they have that bitter aftertaste that you get from stevia. I don't know why. So if you're at a store and you get a choice and you can pick between the sweet leaf and the stir, let me make sure I pick up the blueberry one because it shows the name clearer. And the stir, I would absolutely recommend the stir over this one right here, which would be the sweet leaf brand in the fruit, in the fruit flavors. Now, if you want the vanilla and the caramel, they're really nice. I do like those. And then the other thing I wanted to share with you guys would be my bracelets. I have just been so digging my gold um, cuffs. This one right here I got a couple years ago at Forever 21. I tend to like their jewelry. They, I'm not someone who's going to go in and buy very expensive jewelry because I want it to last forever. That's not who I am. But yeah, I got this one several years ago at Forever 21. I got this one and I love it. I got this one from a fa uh, Fab Fit Fun box. Um, I only got that box one time and it so happened to be the month that I got this cuff and I love it. I've worn it a lot this summer. And then also I got this one and I got it at Kohl's and I got it several years ago. And um, that's it right there, the big one right here. So yeah, I've really absolutely been digging wearing my gold cuffs this summer. I love cuffs. They're just easy and they're a statement piece and they go really well when you're wearing your big statement chandelier earrings. They just, it just, they're really nice and I love the ones that I own. I haven't bought any new cuffs this year, but I have the ones that I have, so I really haven't felt the need to buy any. Now, I wanted to recommend a podcast that I listen to and it's um, a church that I love to, that I, that I, actually that's the church that I get most of my feeding from, let's put it that way. And it would be the Church of 1122 and it's based out of Jacksonville, Florida. I'll make sure to put a little, um, a picture of what their app kind of looks like in case you're interested or their podcast um, little label. I don't know what to call it. Their call handle maybe um, that I'll make sure to put it right here so you can find it. I really enjoy the way they teach the word and I find it very much that it um, edifies my walk and it also is it just teaches me so much. And so I highly encourage if you've never heard of them, the Church of 1122, they're non-denominational in case you're interested, um, but they have some really good, rich teaching there. And I feel like we're getting fed very, very well. It's a wonderful church and I highly recommend it. If you're in the Jacksonville area, you may want to go visit it. Now, personally, I'm not, so I do listen to their podcast. And then lastly, I wanted to share with you guys the dress that I'm I'm wearing right now. I happen to got I got this dress at Shein. Um, I placed an order earlier this year and it's a maxi dress and it's kind of hard for me to show it to you on me right now but I'll be sure to insert a picture or a little video of me wearing it. It's a long maxi and it has slits down each side and so it like it's long it's to the floor almost and the slits go up to about mid thigh and I have a little knot tied in the front on my right hand side. In either case, it's got a v-neck, it's tie-dyed, and it's got pockets. Guys, it's got pockets. Y'all know how much I love pockets. And so I love it. It's one of those things that it's so easy and comfortable and soft, and you can wear it to go run errands. If you've got to, you know, go to the doctor and you just don't want to really wear anything and put anything on that's like going to be sticky. And it's so warm down here that, you know, you just want to be keep cool. This is one of those dresses. If you have company that show up last minute, you don't know what the heck to put on. This is something that you can put up on and you'll look very well put together. And so, yeah, I really, really like it. I know that it's, I got it on Shein, but I've also seen it on Amazon. So you might be interested, if you're interested in it, you might want to look it up on Amazon. I'll make sure to put some links so that you guys can find it. But I really, really do enjoy it. I think it's a great, comfortable summer piece that you could wear it to go to the beach. You could wear it as a uh, bathing suit cover up. You could wear it to go to a party, you know, at somebody's house, like a barbecue. Um, and you'll look put together and well presented, but also be nice and cool because it is so hot out there right now, guys. It is so warm. So yeah, guys, that's it. Those are my favorites. Now this month, I don't have any book that I would have to say has been my favorite. I'm sorry. I've read several books, just that they've been like, yeah, they're good, but nothing where I would come back and say, y'all have to read this. No, no, nothing like that. I'm so happy that I was able to come on and share these few things. I've had several challenges with my health in the last few months in May. I had a bit of a small heart attack, and I say that, but it was quite a difficult walk for me during the la those days, and so um, I've been healing, and so I've given myself permission to maybe to do one video a week, or maybe even two videos a month. I'm not looking to become the biggest YouTuber. I just love sharing with you guys and chatting and talking makeup and fun things. Those things tend to uh, be very healing for me right now in a season where um, my health has just been very, you know, 
very difficult in the last two years almost. It's been a year and a half actually, and it's just been a, a hard walk. I have um, some autoimmune uh, conditions that have come up as a consequence of all the challenges that I've faced, and they were very much aggravated due to the autoimmune, uh, due to the small heart attack. And so I'm not sitting here trying to be Debbie Downer, but I did want to let y'all know that that's one of the reasons I haven't been filming any more than I have. And so I just want to thank you guys for those of you that actually have been watching my videos and following with me, um, following me. I'm very grateful that you take your time in your day to spend a few minutes with me to talk about something that maybe isn't life altering, but it is so much fun. I love to talk makeup and it really has been quite a highlight in my life in the last year and a half. And I'm so grateful for that. Now, um, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. And I hope that you guys will come back and visit me sometime soon. And that's it. That's all I've got for you this video. So y'all have a great day, great night, whatever. And um, y'all be blessed.